But first, the Badgers are battling Coastal Carolina on the court right now in Omaha. Yeah, the last score we had was Wisconsin 66, Coastal Carolina 50, with just under eight minutes left in the game there. And NBC 15's Amy Flugsoff talked to fans about whether a certain curse will affect one of our star players. Amy? Hey guys, when you're the big dogs in town, everybody's wanting to knock you out of that number one position. And that's exactly what Coastal Carolina is trying to do right now as they take on the Badgers in those last few minutes of the big game. Now, when I talk to Badger fans, they say they believe, but our big man in the middle, he may have found himself behind the eight ball tonight. They call him Frank the Tank, the unstoppable force for the Badgers. I know I don't think anything can stop Frank. But today, some superstitious sports fans may be a bit worried as Frank is front and center on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Why is this a problem, you may ask? Well, for those that believe in bad luck, there's the Sports Illustrated cover curse. I have heard of the cover curse. Totally do not believe it. The Badgers will prevail. Athletes and even whole teams have had to deal with the fall from grace due to what some say is the cover jinx. On January 30th, 2012, the Patriots were featured. They lost the Super Bowl. December 14th, 2011, the Broncos graced the front page under Tim Tebow's leadership and then went on to lose in the playoffs. So, could Frank be next? Frank doesn't get rattled by anything. If you've watched him, he is one of the class clowns, so to speak, on the Badger team. And, uh, he doesn't let anything rattle him. We think Frank can overcome the curse. There's, there's no curse for Frank. Frank will, Frank will get past that, no problem. He's an outstanding player, great. Seems like he's a great person. Um, having a young son seems like somebody I could point my son to look up to. So it's great to have him as a role model for, for young kids who are interested in basketball. Well, here's hoping, and with the fans filing out of the arena right now, I think Bucky's going to be just okay tonight. And as the as the team's gear all says, make them believe, and I think they're making that happen tonight here in Omaha. Reporting in Omaha, I'm Amy Flukesopt, NBC 15 News.